A video to help fight the stereotypes which some Muslims say they face on a daily basis has gone viral with more than a million YouTube hits. Muslim man standing in the street in Toronto in Canada with a sign asking passers-by to give him a hug. Uh, Sumi J co-produced the video. Earlier she told Sky News about the inspiration for it and the discrimination and bullying she says she faced as a Muslim. We have taken it upon our hands to try to eliminate the stereotypes and uh, preconceived notions that people have about Islam, which leads them to committing such horrific acts to innocent people as we have seen in the Chapel Hill shooting um, the other day. And it's, it's not helping when mainstream media adds on top of this as well. Um, we've seen tweets uh, uh, tweeted by CNN and Fox News saying that the Charlie Hedbo incident, for example, is an act of terrorism. And uh, terrorism usually uh, has political goals, but there was no political goal with the Charlie Hedbo issue. Uh, it was an act of radical individual who happened to be Muslim, unfortunately. He clearly did not understand the teachings of Islam because Islam teaches that violent acts are forbidden, just like any other religion. Islam promotes peace. This was an act of revenge, a man who decided it was up to him to kill an individual for drawing the profits. So why did international coverage, um, uh, did it get international coverage the way it did and have the support of political leaders and blame a whole faith on one unstable individual? It's It was not right. And uh, we've seen a lot of other acts that have happened. Personally, I have been a target of hate crime as well. But I have received messages and people come up directly to me, call me a terrorist, tell me you are not welcome in this country when I am born here and it is my country. Um, I've uh, received death threats, rape threats, to the point that people have tried to break into my home. And that was also, since it affected me and I've seen it happen to other people, and that's what really inspired us to try to speak up, raise awareness for what's happening, because not a lot of people know that this is actually happening to Muslims.